My name is Chuck Lambert. I'm the Director of Special Services for the School District and I am uh, one of the supervisors along with Becky O'Hara of the ACHIEVE program. So our students are over at in the ACHIEVE program within the uh, building itself for varying amounts of the time, but let's just say on average about half of the day they are in the building learning skills such as budgeting, how to um, uh, effectively communicate, um, to learning some functional academic skills. The other part of the time they're out in the community accessing resources within the community so that we can help them learn how to access those community uh, resources. And then they're also spending some time in, in work sites where we are doing on-the-job training, not necessarily looking to provide them with specific skills regarding a specific job, but more employability skills. How do you dress appropriately? How do you interact? peers, how do you maintain initiation so that you continue working on a task to completion. So those employability skills we're really trying to teach them. Um, this is the Green Parrot restaurant in Newtown and my name is Chris McLean. I'm one of the managers here. Uh, we partner with the Council Rock Achieve program and um, it's been a great experience for us. Um, the kids come in in the mornings from 10 to 12, Monday through Thursday, and they do some of the tasks that our staff normally has to do to open up the restaurant. So our staff enjoys it because it helps them get their work done, and we enjoy having the young people here because they're so enthusiastic to be here. And we found that it's been a big help on our morale. Our people are very excited to have them come in each day. Um, my name is Elaine Kinney and I am the volunteer coordinator for the Free Library of Northampton Township. Um, as volunteer coordinator, I'm very excited to have uh, people from the ACHIEVE program helping us out. Um, the ACHIEVE members uh, interact with the staff. Uh, everyone loves to see them coming because they know how helpful they are. and while they're working on the bookshelves um, there have been people that come up to them and ask for help um, but they wear their volunteer badges so that they know they don't actually work here but they are volunteering uh, so that if they can't answer a question that's okay but I know that they like being here and talking to other people it's wonderful The ACHIEVE program has the ability to work with students of various skill levels. And one of the great things about the program is the staffing. Um, they treat the students with such respect, uh, and I, I should stop calling them students, just like they do. They call them colleagues, um, and they right away get them thinking about themselves as adults. They help them advocate for themselves. They help them learn responsibility. They build on their strength skills to help um, cover the skills that maybe they need additional assistance with. They never make them feel bad about who they are. They always reinforce how, how important they are um, and make them feel good about themselves. Um, and they help them to see themselves in society um, and start to integrate them into the community which is huge. It's wonderful to not just see the results that come directly from the instruction and from the experiences that they're having it achieve, but then to walk into the grocery store or to walk into church and people who have worked with them in the community settings with Achieve see them there and greet them. And you realize this is what I wanted. This is what I want for my child. I want them to grow up as an important member of our community, of our society, and Achieve helps them to get there. My experience with the ACHIEVE program so far has been phenomenal. Uh, I met these young adults with the ACHIEVE program back in January at the NAC Sports Training Center uh, next door to our facilities. It was the baseball facility. Uh, they started coming in in the mornings, helping me, getting us uh, ready for practices, rentals, keeping the facilities clean. Um, and these, these uh, young adults have been amazing with helping me get where we need to be with cleanliness, organization, uh, and getting us great customer service experience at the NAC.
our key approach here is to get them to develop the confidence and the independence so that they can fend for themselves as much as they possibly can. If they can spend time at home and work in the kitchen and make something to eat, if they can spend time at home and take care of everything that they need, and they're safe at home, that is going to afford them a lot more independence in the future. We see them come in here not knowing anything. The crew that works here today are still learning how to crack the eggs. Two years from now, they'll be doing that independently and there'll be a new crew in here starting over learning how to make that sandwich. The guys that we have here on Tuesday mornings, they can do this from start to finish, bring out the equipment, start the equipment, cook their eggs, cook their sandwich, make their sandwich, turn it all off and clean it up. And, and this part of the program here is uh, an integral part of their occupational therapy. Uh, Mary Jo, who was just here, um, her and I have worked on this kind of program for about two or three years now. And it's gotten to the point now where we are really operationally set. The skills that they need, just the simple skills of separating the cheese, building the sandwich the way it's supposed to be, spreading some of the levers and mechanics of using a tongs or using a flippers. Those are things that they don't get exposed to on a regular basis. We've seen young men and women come through here who do none of that at home, and after two years now they're making breakfast for their pop or they're making breakfast for mom and dad, something of that nature. That's great to see, and that kind of tells us that we're moving in the right direction. We're, we're doing the right things, and these, these guys are gaining skills that w you and I take for granted that these guys are going to need every day the rest of their life to develop that kind of independence and confidence to live on their own. It's the relationships that you build with the parents and the student. Students come to us for two to three years and it's important for us to maximize the skill set of the student and for, in order for us to do that we have to partner with the family and the students um, team to make sure that we are all on the same page. And it's pretty awesome because we have some pretty awesome families that work with us and we get to see the student grow through the two or three years that they're with us. And I just had a student recently, well, yesterday, send me a text message and he phased out of the program two years ago just thanking us for what we did for him. And it makes us feel good because it's, it's a team effort and it, 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 it takes a village to work with every student. It's something that we take a lot of pride in, in trying to put together the best program for each and every student that comes through the program.